Hi, I'm Don John Domenico, and I'd like to demonstrate for you my newly completed vertical steam boiler and my PM Research 6CI steam engine kit. The first step at getting the boiler fired up is to uh, fill it up with distilled water. Uh, I use distilled water specifically to prevent lime scale buildup inside the boiler that tap water can produce. And uh, I do that by opening up the filler cap on the boiler. got a special funnel here and I'm looking at the sight gauge at the side here so I'm adding the water here we're about halfway in the sight gauge go ahead and seal up the plug now this particular boiler holds about a half a gallon of water I'm also going to want to add the wa water to the water tank. Uh, the water tank holds about 1.25 quarts of water. And this is the water that's used to replenish the boiler as it's uh, boiling off water to run the steam engine. This particular boiler uh, runs on Coleman fuel. It's actually a pressurized fuel system, uh, much like a Coleman camping stove. Well, actually, it was modified out of a Coleman camping stove. And uh, it takes about 12 ounces of fuel and on a hot boiler it'll run about 45 to 55 minutes on 12 ounces of fuel and I have a special funnel here with a filter in it in order to get fuel to the uh, the burner inside of the boiler I've got to pump up the fuel system and that's done just like pumping up a Coleman lantern or a Coleman stove with this manual pump here and I'm gonna pump it up to about about 25 PSI to get the burner started. Okay. Okay. To light the uh, to light the vertical boiler, um, I have a little little uh, window here that I can open up. I put my lighter in there, ignite the lighter first, and then I crack open the fuel valve, and we have fire. Okay, while the boiler's heating up right now, I'm going to go ahead and check all my lubrication points. On this particular engine, I have five oil points and I've got three uh, drip oilers. The, uh, the oil points that I have are uh, protected by a grease cup, which is kind of a, a little device that's got a screw cap on it, usually used for grease, but in this case I use it for a light oil. I like using the grease cups instead of, uh, instead of just an oil hole because it keeps dirt and grime out of the... Uh, the oiling point. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all those caps. I got five of them to remove. So I got all five caps out. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, light hobby oil. <clears throat> this this stuff is pretty good, and it's got this uh, needle applicator, which is perfect. Also for refilling my uh, my drip oilers, it fits right in the hole. So I go ahead and fill these these grease cups up just up to the very top of them, and it works terrifically. I'll go ahead and oil up my eccentrics here. All right, the next thing I want to hit up is my displacement lubricator. Uh, this is what keeps the engine lubricated while it's running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crack off the top of this one. And I'm going to use a cylinder oil, specially made for steam engines, and go ahead and fill that sucker up to the top. All right, so we got that set up. Put the plug back in. All right, let's see where we're at. We're at about 75 pounds. We're about ready to do our thing here. So we're going to glove up. I'm just going to crack the drain valves. Now I can let out condensation. Got my displacement lubricator open. Okay, let's see what happens. So I'll open up my main steam valve here. Got some condensation in the line here.
once I notice that my steam starts to run clean here, I should be able to close my, my drain valves. running right at about 80 PSI. I'll go ahead and close my switch to my generator. And now we're making electricity. Okay, I'm going to kind of pump up the boiler here a little bit. I like to keep it at about 35 PSI, about the right pressure for this setup. The water level in the boiler has dropped considerably, so I'm going to go ahead and actuate my automatic boiler feed pump here. And I do that by closing off the bypass valve right here. You kind of hear the dip in the engine speed, that's because it's pumping in water now. Looks like my water level is coming back up again. Uh, and if I adjust my bypass valve just right, I can actually maintain that level without even touching the, the valve again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the shutdown procedure for the engine. Pretty basic, uh, but I'll just start out by turning off the uh, fuel supply to the boiler. I'm going to go ahead and let the pressure run down until it gets to about 30 PSI. Just let the engine run. Alright, now that I'm down to 30 PSI, I can go ahead and uh, slowly remove my my blow down port here. I'm going to go ahead and install this air fitting <clears throat> and this way I can run compressed air through the engine uh, to remove all the condensation from the cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and open my drain valves again and then so I can run some of the water out. 
and the engine's still hot, so it's still going to kind of evaporate off of the cylinder walls. And close that up, close these, and uh, I'm going to add some cylinder oil to the oiling port here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to the, uh, the oil port here. This is separate from the displacement lubricator. I like to put oil, uh, <coughs> oil into the engine after I run it. And I can push it through the engine by, uh, by running the compressed air. And that way it's a nice, fairly dry air source. And now all the, uh, the piston and everything is all coated with oil. I don't have to worry about it rusting. So that's sufficiently coated. I can turn that off. Now that I've got the compressed air run through the engine, um, I can go ahead and blow down the steam from the boiler, the residual steam. I only should have about 30 pounds left in the boiler. So I just go ahead and open the main steam valve. We've got the throttle valve closed, so I'm not going to put any steam into the motor. And I can just open up the valve and get the steam out. All right, looks like my boiler pressure is down to zero, and uh, she's all shut down. Let's put back in my uh, blowdown plug here, and she should be ready for the next run. If, uh, if you're interested in this project or you want to see how I built the engine and the boiler, you're more than welcome to check out my site at rcdon.com. Uh, there's an article for the 6CI engine and the vertical boiler there if you want to check it out. And uh, thanks for watching.